Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake here from Jake and Dar. Oh, I've got a, I've got a beer to try tonight. I'm gonna pour it up there and show you what it looks like and give her a go. And this is the, uh, this is the beer I picked up. I don't know if you're gonna recognize it, but uh, look at that, eh? Look at that. Isn't that nice? Propellers, Bohemian style Pilsner. Hmm, looks interesting, huh? Could be. Hmm, yeah, I'll read about it for you. Yeah, it's it says it's brewed in the classic lager style of Bohemia with a blend of European and Canadian malts and prized Saz hops. Propeller Pilsner has a light, sweet flavor with a firm hop finish from Nova Scotia's premium a uh, premier microbrewery so I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it up here and have you have a little taste and see what see see what it tastes like here you go wee hee away we go super quick Super nice. There, how do you think of that? <laughs> what do you think of that? Looks pretty cool. Pretty nice, huh? Get the old flashlight on the go here. Have a look at that. Wow. Upside down snowstorm. Look at underneath the, oh, I can't. Silly bugger, silly bugger. I tried to get you to look underneath the foam. <laughs> Gravity works well. That's pretty cool, huh? Nice. Not bad. I'm gonna try it out and see what I think of it here. Let's give it a try. Ow, my knee. Anyways. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got a light aroma, not a real strong, but sort of have, a, sort of has a, a kind of like a home homebrew smell to it, but not, you know what I'm saying? But kind of. But the only thing I can smell in there is the hops. You know, it smells a bit, smells slightly bitter, the slight bitterness of hops, I guess. Let's give it a taste. It's good. It's pretty good. It's refreshing. <clears throat> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's got a little bit of an aftertaste, but not a bad aftertaste. Um, it's got that sort of uh, It's like, a, that's the malty, it's malty aftertaste, huh? Hmm. It does have a, it does have that European sort of, you know, hint to it. Um. It's got the, um. It finished, it's got the finish on it, you know, like after you, you, you drink it, swallow it, and then, you know, a few seconds later, you still sort of taste it on your tongue, you know, like it's got, it lingers, it's got that lingering, it's got that lingering flavor, that's not too bad. Um, hmm, oh, decent carbonation anyways. It's not a bad beer. Kind of like um, I don't know, uh, similar to a, a, a Labatt's or a Molson, but uh, with a more 
with a more refined hop flavor to it. You know, a little a little stronger on that, a little stronger on the, the hops and the malt, obviously, right? So it's similar to that, but it's better. It's a little bit better. It's it's definitely more tastier. That I mean, that that beer, those beers are just beers. You know, they're just something to drink and cool you down. But this here has definitely got more flavor to it, and it's nice. As you can see, it's mostly a blonde. I mean, it's pretty much the same color as a. It's it's the blonde color. <laughs> it's nice, not bad. They'll get, it holds its lacing. Doesn't hold its head that well. Uh, the the head fades fairly quickly, but it, it holds a bit of lacing, and it's not too bad. Well, I don't know how far this beer reaches. Um, probably mostly just a, a a maritime, a Canadian maritime thing, but if if you ever happen to see it in your area, you might want to give it a try if you're into that, you know, style. Uh, perhaps it might reach your area one day. Uh, perhaps you might be in this area one day, I don't know. But anyways, that's my beer tasting video for this, for tonight. It's, uh, it's, it's a Sunday night, it's almost midnight, but almost into Monday now. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers, keep your mugs full. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I got, uh, I've got a big, uh, hold on, I got a big mug to show you. Not mug, jug, muggy jug, it's a muggy jug. All right, I just felt, felt like I had to show you this right now before the video was over, but here, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow, look at the size of that mother. It's a nice beer jug. Went out and picked that up. And that's gonna... The reason I went and picked this up is because this Friday, um, being, uh, well, it will be into April at that point, I think, yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, be pouring up my my home brew. My my batch of home brew that I made is is made in um, <clears throat> is made mostly in two liter bottles. So I I don't prefer to drink whatever sediments on the bottom. I'm not that type of home brew drinker. But um, so when I pour it up, I want to pour it up in one shot. So obviously I need something larger to pour it into. So I'll be doing that this. Probably this Friday or Saturday, I'll be pouring it into this big mug. It's almost a two-liter mug, pretty close, I'd say. Right? You know, I mean, there's a typical beer. There's a typical beer bottle, so you'd probably easily get five of these in there. Five or six of them. Okay. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll be doing videos of pouring up my good old home brew in the future. Thank you very much. See you later.